everybody, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. And in today's video, we're going to be converting this little 747 that I made a little while ago into an SSTO, or a single stage to orbit space plane thingy. So, uh, you know, this thing is a little bit of a challenge, because uh, as you could imagine, 747s are pretty big. They, you know, they weigh quite a bit. Um, but a big advantage is they are actually pretty aerodynamic, and their wings are absolutely massive. So they have, like, absolutely no problem getting off the ground and stuff on the on the runway. Um, the big the biggest change you obviously have to make is the engines, because the Goliath engines have absolutely no chance of making it any, anywhere past, like, 250 meters a second. And we need to get to, like, 2300, right? So um, rapiers are pretty much the obvious choice. So uh, we're going to be replacing the four Goliath engines with um, four kind of clusters of four rapiers each. So that's 16 rapiers in total. So I was actually kind of worried when building this because I'm like, is 16 enough? Is it enough? Is it too little? Too much? Well, I, I thought it was too little because the 747 weighs over 200 tons, well, about 270 tons since we're completely finished. And I'm like, you know, is that is that a lot? Is that enough? You know, uh, enough engines? And, uh, and it turned out to be. So uh, that's pretty cool. So now next big change you're making is we're going to be removing those aft uh, passenger ma bay thingies um, with uh, with a big liquid fuel tank, and then we're going to be filling up some of those other fuel tanks um, just so we can um, just so we can have enough fuel to actually get ourselves to orbit, right? Um, the thrust rate ratio uh, of the rapiers is about 0.7 um, when we took off, so I'm yeah I was actually kind of worried about this thing. I, I thought it'd be really tricky to get it like get moving and get speeding up, but as you can see, I, I won't spoil anything, you know. You'll see. So we're just going to be putting the horizontal stabilizer back on. Uh, this craft file will be available in the description if that is something you want to check out if i remember hopefully i remember i better not forget uh, last big change we're kind of making is putting these two little side pods here i'm going to put some cheetah engines on it now this is basically our orbital maneuvering engines um, this is what we use to kind of do our orbital insertion burn and what we use to uh we use to maneuver in orbit and deorbit and stuff like that so setting up some action groups yeah um the, yeah the problem with using the rapiers for that is they're really mounted quite low so it's, it's really tricky to um to keep the you know the thing aimed aimed correctly right without you know because what it want to do is those rapiers would want to make cause us to flip over and stuff and one thing we are actually going to do to counteract that i wasn't sure if i want to do this so you'll see me a few times place down those Werner engines and get rid of them because i'm like yeah that's ugly but it's kind of necessary so um, when we're doing, um, if you know how SSTO flight profiles work, so you, you fly up, once you get up to around 1600 meters a second, around 20 kilometers, um, the rapiers don't have enough thrust to, you know, keep you going, so you have to switch to um, jet, uh, rocket engine mode on the rapiers, and as you can you imagine, as uh, well you can see, um, they're mounted really low down, so they'd cause us to flip. So we had to put a bunch of Werner engines on the uh, front and uh, back uh, to keep the thing actually pointed the right way, because uh, the aerodynamic surfaces, right, they don't really do much at 20 kilometers. They do, they do quite a bit, but you know, Werner engines help a lot. Um, now what we're doing is we're going to be, um, we're going to be experimenting, I guess. Not experimenting, but um, 1.11, as you can know, uh, as you know, uh, added EVA construction mode. So we're going to be trying to assemble a satellite in orbit with our Kerbal. Um, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Turns out I'm going to do an ion-powered um, little satellite guy. The, the point of this guy is he's supposed to be able to fly around wherever and just kind of hang out. It's probably going to have like 4,000 meters a second of delta V or something. So, yeah, it's just going to gonna go. That's going to be our payload along with the few hundred Kerbals we, we bring. But that's going to bring us to the end of the build time lapse. We can go crossfade over to the to the launch or the takeoff. So we have our payload, we have our Kerbals, we have our fuel line. and can throttle on up and get moving down the runway. Uh, in, in anticipation for flight. Um, while we're doing that, quickly like to say if you're enjoying the video, a big old subscribe button if you want to hit it. Try and hit 6,000 subs by the end of the month. Probably ain't gonna happen, but hey, I can I can dream. I have a dream. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. Just trying to rotate now, trying to get in the air, and oh, tail strike. That ain't part of the plan. That that definitely ain't part of the plan. <laughs> um, oh, that was a big of an oof. So I guess that's what reverting flights for, right? We can. Try that again. I need to decide to take off just a little bit later. Um, it is nice because of how the wheels are mounted and how much can, how much wing area we have. This thing can just really pop off the ground. A lot of SSTOs have to go off the end of the runway, and it's a whole thing to get them in the air. But not a 747. It it just goes, you know. Epic epic plane just goes. Amazing. I don't know. Is this even good 747? There are some people who made some really great 747s uh, in KSV, and I think my I think mine is okay. I mean, it's not terrible, but you know, it could be better. But there we go. We've made it in the air without tail striking. Um, once we get uh, past the end of the runway here, I'm going to get a time lapse going. We can start accelerating. So, um, like I said, yeah, if you want to hit the subscribe button, if you want to hit the like button, that's a pretty good button, too. And the comment button, I don't know, as long as you're saying something nice. I mean, you can say something mean, too. I usually try and 
find something clever to say to, to mean people. I, I spend more time than you think I would trying to respond to <laughs> mean comments, um, trying to trying to think of a clever response. But I do try and respond to everyone. And you know, there's a pretty epic Discord server trying to pass um, strats and blitzes. We're about 200 people behind him, so you know, we're getting close. We can do it in daily streams and all this stuff. That's my little channel pitch. But that's the end of the plugs because I want to get back to talking about this plane, which is now accelerated quite quickly through 600 meters a second already. This thing kind of kind of blew my mind how quickly it went. I really didn't realize the rapiers had that much power or uh, some 47s that aerodynamic or something. Maybe it, like, it just, it, it just, <laughs> it's just zooming. Like, look at this thing. And it, it, it doesn't even have that high of a thrust rate ratio. I mean, the, the highest thrust rate ratio it gets is about 2.0. Um, I've had this in steels that have more than that and they just, they just go really slow. So yeah, this thing, this thing's zooming, isn't it? So, um, as we cross, cross 10 kilometers here, I'm going to try and pitch over a little bit. This thing is kind of wobbly, doesn't really like to pitch or whatever. I don't know what it's doing this. SAS is all screwed up, but uh, we do try and accelerate. We get up to just under 1,550 meters a second. Um, 1,550 meters a second, probably a better way of saying that, before we have to enable our, um, or switch mode, enable the rocket engine mode on those rapiers, uh, which will be coming up in just, just a few seconds as we get to the later parts of our ascent. Oh my gosh, guys, we're almost to orbit. Oh, what a special moment. <laughs> so, there goes oxidizer mode, or rocket mode, or whatever. We're going to pitch up just slightly. Um, an important thing, we want to pitch up, we don't want to pitch up too much, because um, once we do this burn, we're going to switch to the Cheetah engines, and they do not have a lot of thrust weight ratio, so um, we, need to, we need to try and get as much horizontal velocity with the rapiers as possible, to, so we don't have to do like a 15 minute burn, you know? So, yeah, that's going to be the plan. Um, quite, a, quite a bit of extra fuel in this thing. Uh, I don't know, I could have maybe squeeze more kerbals in there if I wanted and remove some fuel, but hey, inefficiency is amazing. Um, now I'm going to go do a quick photo op because photo ops are cool, photo ops are fun, and then I just realized that we've already kind of, um, <laughs> or perhaps already 150 kilometers, so I'm like, okay, maybe time to stop burning and time to start getting into orbit here, so I'm going to get our maneuver our plan, circularize, and then we're going to get ready to construct our epic, amazing satellite here in orbit. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so incredible. So incredible. I don't, know, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know. Words! 42. <laughs> okay, so, as the wings kind of wobbly wobbly, Kerbals are having a great time. <laughs> if you look at the bottom right there. And then we can, um, we can get our, uh, our engineer Kerbal EV-8 and she's gonna uh, get con get constructing our satellite. You just have to remember what uh, cargo bays I put this stuff in. So, um, it's gonna be a pretty basic satellite. Just probably like, I think it's 10 parts in total. So, um, here we go. I'm gonna start by building a, uh, get the fuel tank in. That's a pretty good, pretty good first step. Then we're gonna get the engine on. Uh, battery on and oh no it's floating away I really should have put a decoupler on here so um, I could like decouple it from the thing and actually build it on there because yeah it is it is mega floating away right now um, the things only get more downhill from here so I kind of nudge it back towards the thing and here we go trying to put the reaction wheel on and I kind of clip the thing as I place it and oh that is yeah that's gone <laughs> I literally tried for about just just under a half hour and yeah that that ain't, that thing ain't coming back that's all right it's way out there um so rip satellite um i guess we can just go ahead and deorbit um i don't know i don't know what the kerbal's probably not gonna that'd be pretty awkward that kerbal comes back into the cockpit and it's like hey guys so you know that satellite hey funny story <laughs> uh gosh that's just pretty much analogous to my entire channel try and do cool things and I completely fail in the most stupid way possible with obvious things that I could have done to make me not fail. That's that basically, hey, it's an analogy. It's a metaphor for the channel, right? <laughs> I don't know. We have quite a few subscribers. So I don't know. Maybe you guys are, maybe you guys are, maybe you guys like it. I don't know. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I don't have as many as Matt Lown, so. Coming for you, Matt. Matt and Lown, more like Matt Frown. I don't know. Matt Lown's great. Matt Lown's great. So here you go, deorbiting. Cooling on 747 is, like I said, it's extremely aerodynamic, so we actually have our periaps, if you saw, when I was deorbiting. It's extremely, extremely low. Italian accents. I have Soviet accent, Italian accent. I don't know. And I can't, I'm not good at any of them. I don't know why I do them. So anyway, um, yeah, this thing, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to point prograde for just a little bit. And then once we get a little bit lower, we're going to just point stability assist. And then we're not going to touch anything because the way the curvature of the planet works, we're going to 
gradually pitch up just naturally. So here you go, we're in stability here, and you can look at that temperature is really, really warm, so toasty, oh my gosh, are we gonna start going up, are we gonna explode, what's gonna happen, oh my gosh, and now we're going up. That was, that was right on the edge. If we would have gone down like 100 more meters, we would have exploded, so... That's basically it. That's pretty as close as you can get it, right? But here we go, doing a big old bounce. We still have a ways to go to the KSC, but we're just starting to see the peninsula come into view here. Now we're going to just come over across the shoreline and get ready to cross over the mountains, and we're basically going to be home free. And we're still even too high now. Like, it's absolutely crazy here. We'll speed the thing back up in just a second. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, we are we are really high so i do the good old deploy the landing gear trick because who would actually bring air brakes those are overrated um you have big old air brakes called the landing legs and they have like a, almost a better heat tolerance than air brakes i don't think they do but it's kind of crazy landing landing gear are overpowered in ksp um so are heat shields <laughs> Um, and air brakes, to be honest, they they are pretty they're pretty useful too. But here we go. We're kind of coming into the uh, KSC runway. We're coming in kind of a down downwind leg here, so we're gonna do some turn. We're gonna kind of do like a little square pattern around the around the little around the airfield, bring her in here. So now entering base leg. I don't know if you guys know that kind of stuff. Kind of more from planes and stuff. I don't know. Planes are cool. So now we're gonna get ready to turn to our final approach here in just a second. Make a quick save here. Um, they're making it right now, handy dandy quick save that totally won't come in use in just a few seconds. So coming in here, we've glided the whole way down, so that's pretty cool. Coming in now, last last few hundred meters to go. We're coming in, we're looking really good. Altitude's good, speed is a little high, but yeah, we it's a long runway. Doing turn lined up. Altitude's just a little bit low here as we drop it down to one time speed now. Speed is pretty good. Altitude is little low. We too low. Oh I didn't think that one through. I thought I could pull up. Turns out I couldn't. Cockpit still alive. Let's see if I can EVA the Kerbal. EVA, jump, 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 jump. Oh, boy. Well, good thing we had that quick save. Okay, attempt number two. This time, I decided to come in a little bit higher. A little bit slower, but a little bit higher. Um, so, yeah, I guess that turned out to be a good thing, even though we're kind of dive-bombing the runway right now. But <laughs> either way, coming over the runway, like I said, um, not a little bit higher, because we're not we're not stupid this time around. And then we're going to get ready to uh, pull the nose up here and do the flare. Oh, my gosh, how good of an amazing landing am I going to do? Oh, 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 and we're down. I don't know, was that good? I don't know, write my landing in the comments. Um, you're probably going to get a bunch of 3 out of 10s, 1 out of 10s. Failure, amazing, bad, trash. I like the amazing one. That'd be a nice comment. But here goes. You're going to have to turn up the brake force a little bit because, you know, we're not going to stop if we don't do that. Um, but yeah, that's going to bring us that's going to bring us down and that's going to bring this mission to a good old completion. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool mission. Pretty happy about it. Um, yeah. Let me know if you have any videos ideas. I get quite a few and quite a few are pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I pretty much read them all. So, um, yeah. That's going to bring us to the end. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Please rate or comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And bye.